le choix de la couleur et sa communication au laboratoire de prothèse. Shade selection and its communication to the processes lab is an act often feared by practitioners and improperly performed. The influence of the light ambient environment. The vision of color can be affected by the immediate color environment of the patient's teeth. Two main families of shade selection methods are used. The first one uses the conventional, traditional color chart. It is a comparative method with palettes and samples and the patient's natural tooth. The second family of methods used to select the shade uses machines, i.e. spectrophotometers. These spectrophotometers are high-performance machines, but they are costly and rather bulky. La fonction Sopro Shade the Sopra Shade concept of the Intraoral Sopra 717 camera is a help to the visual shade selection. The light provided by the eight LED located on the camera head allows it to be totally independent from the ambient light. The Sopro tip that is clipped on the camera head will isolate the tooth from the environment and the shade selection will no longer be sensitive to interfering colors. The second quality of the Sopro intra-oral camera and of the Sopro shade concept is its optical quality that even provides a greater resolving power in the terms of hue. The advantage is also to make the shade selection on a screen and it's much more easier due to the camera's enlargement power. The Sopro camera is an excellent communication tool for working with the prosthesis. With the Sopro imaging software function, it will allow to transfer global images from the patient's mouth together with the results of the shade selection of the prosthesis's computer. The fourth quality is the communication with the patient. It is a user-friendly and pleasant tool, and it facilitates the dialogue with our patients around the shade selection. The Sopro 717 intraoral camera, with its Sopro shade concept, is an ergonomic, friendly used and not too expensive tool, and of course, it complies with applicable health standards. We are going to show on this patient the different steps of the selection of the base color for a tooth. In this instance, central incisor number 21 using the Sopro 717 camera's Sopro shade function. The Sopro shade 1 button is set to intermediate position and the tip designed for shade selection, the Sopro shade tip, is placed on the camera head. The first step consists in putting that tip parallel to the tooth surface, making sure that the tooth's incisive edge fits in the special stabilization notch. When the positioning is correct and controlled on the screen, the finger will press the Sopro touch to freeze the left half side of the reference image of the tooth. Here is a color chart working with a priority of luminosity, then of saturation and at least of tint. For this selection function, the camera is placed on the Sopro Shade 2 position. Let us first choose the luminosity in the five groups offered by the color chart. We pack up to a correct luminosity that seems to be this one. Deuxième temps, nous sortons le groupe intermédiaire. We then take out the intermediate group in the correct luminosity group, and we choose the color saturation level. These samples are obviously too saturated. We come back to the first sample. In the last step, we select the chromatic hue of the tooth to a more yellow shade, L group, or redder, R group. The samples do not seem correct. Let us see the group of the reddest. The chromatic hue is not perfect with the red group. We come back to the intermediate group. Therefore, our first choice seems to be the good one. Nous allons compléter la prise de vue de la teinte de base de la dent. 
We are going to complete the base tooth tint picture with general shots, i.e. facial shots and global tooth shots, allowing for better communication with the process's lab. The camera is then placed on the extraoral setting ring and pictures are taken. A global view in the macro photography of the tooth provides the prosthesis with all required indications on the cervical gradation, surface aspects, characterizations and incisive edge transparency. We start from the shade selection sample coming from the consulting room and with our powders we will stratify so as to get all the natural effects of the tooth sole surface, deep 3D effects, bluish effects in the corners to get the final tint. We conducted experiments with a high number of patients for the choice of the central incisor colour using conventional colour chart system, the SOPRO 717 SOPRO shape concept and the latest spectrophotometers. The matching rate is of more than 66%, which is a good result for this kind of test. There are less errors with all the systems when using colour charts, giving priority to luminosity then to saturation and to chromatic key, i.e. the latest color charts generation. Therefore, the results of the Sopra 717 intraoral camera are more than satisfactory in terms of natural tooth shade selection, and the camera with its Sopra shade concept is one of the modern ways of color teeth selection.